In this video, we're going to look at the implementation of the tree traversal operation. So we will take the algorithm for a tree traversal and put it in code. And of course, we've seen different types of tree traversals, and we will look at three of them. Now, this video assumes that you've already seen tree traversals, and that you understand the concepts underlying tree traversals, and then in this video, you're just focusing on implementing these algorithms. Now, just to refresh our memory, what was, what was a tree traversal? It was the operation which allowed us to basically visit every single node in a tree. So to traverse a tree means to visit every single node within that tree. And when we talk about visiting a node in that tree, it means to perform an operation on that node. So for example, that operation could be to print out the contents of that node. So one tree traversal operation would be to print out all the contents of the nodes within a tree. And in this video, we're focusing on binary trees. So trees with nodes having a maximum of two children. The concepts here could easily be extended to l trees with more than two children. So trees would have nodes having more than two children. Now, we will look at the pre-order traversal, post-order traversal, and in-order traversal. The distinction between the three is the following. In the pre-order case, we would examine or visit the node itself then it's left uh, uh, descendants and then the right descendants. So look at the tree, the node itself, then look at its left subtree and then right subtree. In the post order we would first, instead of vis visiting the parent then going on to the children, we would visit the children and then go on to the parent. So we visit left, then right, and then finally the node. So in the post order traversal, if you're visiting a tree, the last node you would visit would be the root node because it's the parent. So first you visit the left subtree or the left descendants and then the right descendants when you're done with these according to a post-order traversal of course. These these all have um, recursive definitions and we'll see that in the implementation. And then in, in order traversal would basically go over them in their proper order so from left to right, left and then node and then right. So this is the distinction. I'm assuming you've already seen the theory behind it. You've already seen examples, and then we'll put them in code right now. So the pre-order traversal would work as follows. It doesn't need to return anything. The method doesn't need to return anything. It's just visiting every single node in the tree. So let's put the return to void. Um, let's call our method pre-order traversal. And then what are we going to pass it? We're passing it a node. And that node, let's call it root because at the beginning we're going to be passing it the root node to a tree and then later on as we make recursive calls to that function we're going to be passing it um, root nodes to subtrees within that tree and this is how we're going to look at it. The first thing we do as we indicated right here is to visit the, visit the node itself so we're going to take root which is the node that is being passed to us and we're going to visit it so we're visiting the parent node then we look at the children and we're going to call that same function again the pre-order traversal we're going to call it over first the left child pre-order t root left so we're calling that function first or method over the left descendants so it's going to run that same algorithm recursively over the left descendants finish up with them and then come back and do the same thing for the right descendants now I'm just putting this here in code so this is how it works now this is a recursive method we need a base case what will be our base case it will be a leaf node so when we reach a null so once we reach a leaf node a leaf node would call a the pre-order traversal on its left child the left child of a leaf node is null and the, so is the right child so our base case would be if root equal to null. So if we're calling pre-order traversal on a null, then we know we've reached the end of that depth. By the way, these uh, three traversal types are all depth first traversals. We're focusing on depth. So when we've reached that that leaf node, then we could return. So let's return back. And then we could tr propagate back up, go back up, finish with that particular level, go back down on the right hand side, and do that until we go back to our very original root node, and then continue on with the right subtree. So this is how Rex takes some time to visualize it. And in the in the case of post order and in, in order, it would be the exact same statements except these two these three statements would be reordered. That's all. So in the case of the post order, of course we're doing left, right in the node. So this would come right here. And in the case of in order, this would come right here. And that's it. There we have it. This this is the three implementations. So let's just put it back here. 
this is the three implementations.